25 minutes past eight. Uh, we've got David and Jonathan Stretton Downser in the studio with us. They're conducting a six times open campaign for the British Heart Foundation after Jonathan underwent six operations for his heart. About to undergo the seventh, is that right, Jonathan? Undergo the sixth. I, I, you're about to undergo the six. Yeah. Okay. And I noticed while we were talking that we can hear a really faint ticking, and if we're really silent, I think we might be able to hear. Is it, what is it? Explain to me before we have a listen. What is it in your heart we can hear? Uh, it's a mechanical heart valve in my aortic position. Okay, let's just be really quiet. John, whack the mic up. Let's see if we can hear that. My goodness. That is amazing. So what's that doing? Is that helping with the pumping? So no, that is actually a valve in the heart, so that's the aortic valve, so it's just completely run off the ventricle pressure. That is amazing. I don't know, John, can you hear it? How well can you hear it? Oh, I absolutely heard it very yeah, clearly. Yeah, really yeah, clearly. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Crisp work. At least you can say this is what he, you know, to his, uh, you know, wife to be, um, possibly, and then in the future I could say, this is what you made my heart do, you know. Oh, wow. That's wow. a nice line that only John can say at the moment. That, that is, that, that is, oh my goodness. Right, now you've been doing challenges, so we'd be foolish not to let you do a challenge in the studio. I'm a bit nervous about this, see, this is all about, you know, your heart. It's all about audience participation. Oh, I'm not sure about audience participation, we're going to put you two under pressure at first. Oh dear. So these are exercises actually that will hopefully will strengthen the heart. Okay. And all your challenges are focused around the number six. Mm. But we thought we'd make you do some star jumps and press-ups. I'm thankful I'm not doing this, but you are. But six seconds doesn't seem very long. So I reckon 16 seconds is the time 16. you've got. Oh, Let's sorry. see how many star jumps and press-ups you can do. Take your positions, please, away from the mic. Who's counting who? Um, yeah. I'll count David, you count Jonathan. I'm doing press-ups. Okay. So I'm can press -ups. you, right, are you ready? <laughs> you I'm ready? going to have to set, oh, somehow to start the timer. Hang challenge. on. Bear with me one second. Make Just sure we've second. got... Oh my goodness. Thunder clap is going. Three, two, one, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Just for you, ten, Ross, 11, 12, 10 seconds to go. Oh! oh 14, push it on. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think there's two seconds left. Three, oh. two, one, go! Stop! Stop, stop, stop. Oh, you have run by like eight oh, seconds, oh, Rosie. Oh. <laughs> Guys, a confession oh, to make. Goodness, that's food. Confession. I didn't set a timer on my phone. Oh. <laughs> and then I started using the timer on the clock. And then two minutes, I made up the time. So you just kept on going. Do well we know done. how many we did? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. So well, producer Vicky well, is going to have to look back at the footage well, to yeah. be an independent. We've got to have some evidence here, seriously. I think, this I think is... Jonathan won that looking yeah. at the two of them. Oh. Really? Yeah. Producer of <laughs> yeah. Really. Oh my goodness. Well, now we all just get another time to sort of catch our breath. <laughs> We can do this even more now, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got another challenge for you coming right up. We've only done this once before, cool. where someone comes into the studio. If you say you're all about challenges, why not try your hand at reading the weather? How does that sound? Sounds good. Yes. So if anyone needs to know the accurate weather, I suggest staying with us to find out, because Jonathan and David are going to give it a good go very shortly. Yes. Tell me a little about how we can get in touch with you, though, because coming up, you're going to be doing this head shave on yes. Saturday in Piccadilly Circus. We're going to want to follow your progress, how you're getting on. You're trying to raise £100 thousand pounds where's best to sort of follow your progress well as i just catch my breath rosie from that uh, intense workout um yeah you can follow us a number of ways sorry if i'm breathing deeply just <laughs> catching my back fitness oh my is God. improving um <laughs> actually the one who's had the open heart surgery has seemed to have recovered well you know he's got a Jonathan, yeah, you're looking well. fine, aren't you? I feel fine. Or you're definitely looking more yeah, it's, it's on, it's on for a fact. Uh, so how can we get in touch with your progress, find out how you're getting on? Yeah, social media, website, really the social media, Twitter and Facebook is, and, and Instagram. They're the three channels really that are, um, people are following. Um, the Twitter on the day, Instagram and Facebook, we're going to be Facebook live in the whole event. Instagram storing it. Um, yeah, it's going to be, there's going to be some crazy stuff going down, so keep, keep in touch. You can find all that out at sixtimesopen.com. So if you head to the website, you'll find all the social links there. And when is your sixth open heart surgery? We don't currently have a date at the moment. So we have to wait. So what's the timeline? When will you find out? Um, we're hoping, hoping that it will be in March. Okay, and what's the prognosis like for that? Um, do you know what your recovery will be like? How many more operations you might have to have after that one? Never say never. Hopefully I'll never have to have another one, but... Wow. I can't say that for yeah. sure. Um, with regards to recovery, we're probably looking, like I said before, roughly uh, six to eight weeks of driving, up and about, getting getting about, and then probably full, full recovery in six to eight months. Thank you so much to both of you. Really inspiring to see brothers just sort of gearing each other on and healthy competition too.